Hey guys, it's Mr. Money here. In today's video, we're gonna learn how regular people just like you and me make thousands of dollars or Airbnb without owning any piece of property. And the crazy part is that I'm going to provide you with two different strategies. One that requires no investment whatsoever from your end, and one that will take a small investment but it's well worth it. So let's dive right into it. I'm pretty sure that most of you watching this video know how Airbnb works, right? From a user's perspective, this is just a great tool that's gonna help you pick the best spot for your vacation. And you can either go for this high-end destinations such as castles or pieces of property that have amazing pools and so on and so forth but most of the times let's face it we're not gonna spend more than one thousand dollars per night instead most of the times we're just gonna stay at a regular apartment and that is where the opportunity lies if we take a step back and focus on it for a little while we can understand how we can start making some money here. Who's gonna lease their apartment on Airbnb? This will be regular people just like you and me, who perhaps already had an apartment, they just saved up enough money to purchase another one, and then they decided to lease their property on Airbnb to make an extra buck. These are regular people, remember, and chances are they don't have any marketing skills, they don't know sales, they don't know how to promote their listings for maximum efficiency, they don't know how to optimize their offerings here. And so if you can help them out, if you can help them maximize their profits and earn more than they would normally, that is where the opportunity lies and that's how you can start making money without an investment and without actually owning any piece of property. You're just gonna help out other people make more money and that's how you're gonna make some money for yourself. You will simply help other people make more cash and that's how you're getting some profits as well. And let me show you real cases of people who are doing this as we speak. If you head over to Fiverr and type in Airbnb, you can find all of these different sellers. This one, for instance, is selling their services for 60 bucks a piece and they've got 14 reviews. Or this other one, who is also pro-verified, has generated the crazy amount of money so far. Let's actually do the math here. Let's just round it up to $100, multiply that by 434 and they just got an extra $43,000. That is absolutely crazy without spending a single dollar on property. And the crazy part here is that there was no investment required, which means that most of this amount is straight up profit. They didn't have to make an investment and so they get to keep most of the cash. Now, of course, Fiverr will keep their cut as well, but that's not going to be too significant. And remember, this is just their basic package. Chances are most people went for the standard one or for the premium one, which would cost them even more. Now, you might be wondering, what are they actually doing here? Well, they will professionally write a tailor-made Airbnb listing description. Just the description. Think about that. And they are charging over $100 for it. They literally don't have any piece of property listed on Airbnb. They didn't have to invest tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars into purchasing property they're literally just tailor making airbnb listing descriptions and that's it that's how they're making money and you can do the same exact thing i'm going to show you how there are some key elements that we need to be focusing on there are some essential components here such as the hook which needs to be professional eye-catching there's also got to be a title and summary description then there's got to be a call to action Again, professional, design to convert, and so on. And then the save, a complete listing with photo captions, host profile, and search algorithm tips. Now, do not get me wrong, this is a real skill. Doing that is actually high value, and that's why they can charge that amount of money for it. But I genuinely think that anybody who can dedicate a few hours of their spare time to learning this skill can actually do it. It's not rocket science, let's face it. Take a look at this one, for instance. I will edit your real estate Airbnb photos professionally, and so there will be more multiple different subcategories you can focus on. You can niche down on a certain one of them, or you can just have an entire package where you're gonna take care of the photos you're listing, you're gonna take care of the description, you will make sure that you're maximizing the search engine optimization efficiency and so on and so forth. The more you can deliver, the more value you can provide to your client, the more money you can charge for your service, right? Again, there are just a few different things you need to be focusing on, such as the listing title and description, and then the pricing and availability strategies, the policies and rules, and info for guests. From an outside perspective, all of these things look pretty obvious and straightforward, and you would think anybody can do it. They don't need somebody else to do it for them. They don't need to pay somebody to do it. But the reality here is that most people come from a background where they weren't taught any sales skills. They weren't taught any marketing skills. When it comes to most of us, our parents just didn't teach us the marketing skills and sales and how to optimize conversion rates, right? Those are things that you learn along the way. Now, the main takeaway here is this. 
you're helping out other people make more money and that's how you can get paid but here's the thing standing out from the crowd on fiverr is a little bit tricky even though the competition on this field of activity will not be so high you've only got 680 different services available which is not that many you're still gonna have a hard time standing out here competing against all of these pro verified sellers and so on is pretty damn tricky instead of that here's what you can do instead of just waiting for people to find your services on fiverr you can reach out to them directly all you gotta do is pick a location let's say we're going to barcelona right and then you want to filter the results even further by selecting the low price offers you don't really want to go for the high-end ones because chances are those have already been optimized Take a look at this one for instance, it's only got 5 reviews and it's got a pretty bad rating. These are just some regular pictures which the seller probably took with your mobile phone and they haven't really got too much of a description here. And so the easiest way you can go about it is reach out to the seller directly and tell them something along the lines of I can help you out, I saw that your offer is not converting all that well and I can help you with your listing. I'm not gonna charge you any cash, you don't have to pay me anything, however you can just give me a percentage of the sales I'm generating. So I helping you out i'm optimizing your listing on airbnb and i just get to keep a certain commission now do not imagine that you're getting 60 percent of the price right because you're just taking care of the listing you don't have to worry about cleaning that place you don't even have to visit it you can do this remotely however you can get a solid 20 30 or even 40 percent doing this exact thing without owning any piece of property and that's a great advantage for me and once you guys start getting some previous experience and you have a few different clients of course, you can also list a gig on Fiverr or any other freelancing platforms and take it one step further. And as mentioned before, you can actually keep a solid 20% just by doing that, helping people optimize their listing. However, if you want to take it one step further and make a small investment, here's another thing you can do. You see, you can simply rent out a piece of property from the owner. You're going to pay them a certain amount of money per month. Let's say you're paying $500, right? Moving forward, one thing you can do is ask the owner for permission to actually list their property or airbnb and you get to keep the profits now you will need to get the owner permission in order to do that this relationship needs to be based on trust and before signing any contracts you need to make sure there's not a condition there that doesn't allow you to do it and so you need to talk to the owner directly if i pay you a straight up 500 dollars per month will you actually let me list this property on airbnb and make some profits for myself and look I'm going to keep your property in pristine condition. I'm going to make sure that your apartment is clean at all times. I will afford the expenses of cleaning. I will repair anything that needs fixing and so on and so forth. And so you're not damaging their property. You're keeping it in pristine condition because that helps you get more and more clients and better reviews. And at the same time, you get to keep the profits that you're generating through Airbnb. Again, that requires an investment because you need to pay the rent. However, if you get the owner to accept your terms, you can get some solid profits moving forward. Not everybody's gonna accept those terms because they might fear that certain clients will tear up their apartment and really damage it. However, every now and again, you will get somebody to accept these terms. And if you do, you can get an extra 500 to 1000 to even $2,000 per month just for renting out that piece of property. But again, that takes a little bit more time, more work and more dedication. And you will need to reach out to a lot of different owners before finding one that is willing to do it. But if you want to get started as a complete beginner with no investment whatsoever, the best thing you can do is learn how you can optimize descriptions, titles, pictures, basically listings on Airbnb for maximum efficiency. That is a really high value skill that not so many people possess. As you can see, we've got only 600 services here or so. And that is just to prove there aren't so many people who can do it. And if you guys need any further confirmation, this seller actually generated over $500 just by editing photos. Just think about that. And here's another one right here. I will improve and optimize your Airbnb listing in just one day. Speed is also gonna be important. Again, the most important thing here that you need to understand is where the opportunity lies. Most people do not have this sort of marketing skills and so they are leaving a lot of cash on the table. You're not necessarily generating more profits for them. Instead, you're just helping them see the reality of things and you're helping them get that cash back, you know, because they are missing out on a lot of potential clients just because they haven't optimized their listings correctly. And so all you gotta do right now is just implement these two methods step by step, whichever one you prefer. You can just get started with the one that doesn't require any investment. And once you start seeing some profits, you can try the other one as well, where you rent a piece of property and then try listing it on Airbnb if the owner allows you to that's the key element of the process so make sure you get the approval that's it for now to massive action and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching